Hey there, Mission Control. Well, uh, I'm sure some of you are probably picking it up, but I've been uh, recording a lot more videos lately. Uh, a lot of information to get through this year that I, we're trying to put down on video uh, to share with all of you, but also to kind of make our record uh, of everything that we've done here and uh, things that we need to improve upon, I try to call those out. So I've been doing lots of storyboarding with these videos, trying to increase the quality uh, as you know, if you've been following along, we're tra trying to use YouTube to help fund this whole thing um, in, in conjunction with a mixture of mix, uh, microgreens as well as YouTube. Um, and this year, one of the things that I need to talk about, let me see here, where are my notes? Uh, where'd it go? There it is. Okay, so lots of videos record every week, so I got my little printout here of my storyboards. Um, so we've been going over the, the system overview, uh, which is cool going back over everything and it's just really neat to finally see everything kind of coming together here, at least from my perspective. And uh, we're also going over the challenges right now of those systems. So we went over the overview, now we're going over the challenges. And it's kind of all leading up to a big event this May uh, that we're calling the Real Martian Challenge. And we're gonna do this uh, twice this year, um, two challenges. Uh, TRMC, the Real Martian Challenge, 1801, 2018, number one, and uh, TRMC, 1802. And I'm really excited about it. So I wanted to kind of formally introduce it. I, I've talked about it in previous videos, but I really wanted to get to just a heart to heart, no, no fancy editing on this one, just kind of sitting talking to you guys about what we're trying to do here. Um, for my job, what I do every day is I go to work and I help develop new product. I'm a program manager. I oversee new product development at our company, and uh, it's a great job. Um, lots of things we've learned there about how to introduce new product, how to think of new product and new ideas, and to get it to a point where people would actually want to buy it and that there's value in it for them. And there's a few different ways that you can manage these types of projects, and, and one of the ways uh, that you can manage them is through a kind of a, a philosophy known as Agile. And what Agile, it, it, Agile is compared to a more structured, traditional, plan everything up front, plan it all perfect, and uh, do everything step one, step two, step three. Uh, maybe you do a few things at the same time called being in parallel, but um, this way of thinking um, of step one, step two is called waterfall. You do this, then you do this, then you do this, then you do this, right? Agile is a little bit more free-flowing in the sense that you're really not focused on um, kind of making something perfect. You're focused on delivering value as quickly as you possibly can. So you'll spin on things until you get value and then you'll do a demonstration to your customer, whoever they are, and say, hey, is this what you want? Is this looking good? And then the customer provides you immediate feedback. Uh, whereas in Waterfall, you kind of get to the end and you get that feedback because you're trying to think through everything in Waterfall. You're trying to kind of make it as perfect, perfect as you can the first time. Um, there's nothing wrong with either of these ways of managing things, but I wanted to give you just that little bit of context uh, because in Agile, one of the things I've really come to appreciate is the value of what is known as a demonstration. And that's where you iterate on something and then you demonstrate it. You iterate on something, then you demonstrate it. And you do this throughout the life of your development effort until you get to the point where people say, I wanna buy that. So for this system that we've been building here for the last two years, going on three years now, uh, it's time to finally start doing demos. And that's what the Real Martian Challenge is, is it's a demonstration uh, for three days, uh, which isn't very long, but the first one's just three days. Second one, maybe we'll make it longer, but right now it's planned to be three days. Mostly because I just don't have enough time off to uh, to make them longer. Uh, but three days, three nights of me sleeping out here uh, and living out here and, and living off of what comes out of this building. Uh, um, we're gonna demonstrate it, right? It's either gonna work or it's not, and it's in my best interest that it does work. So I, I've gotta come up and get everything in here. We gotta get plants in, we gotta get cleaned up, we gotta deal with the fungus problem. We gotta get all these problems out of the way because uh, it's January, uh, well actually probably by the time you see this video, it'll probably be February, or first week in February, and we got four more months to go. 
uh, and we don't have any veggies in the ground yet or in the aquaponics system. So we've got a lot of work to do, a lot of planning to do uh, to get this demonstration going. I'm, I'm kind of, I have low expectations of this first one, I'll be honest. I, I think it's going to be more of me fasting uh, for three days, sitting here going, oh, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I just want to eat a steak. Um, but I, I think maybe I'll do better than that. And then the second one in August, three months later, uh, is intended to be kind of fix everything that you learned from the first one because there's nothing like learning when you're doing. Uh, when you actually do a demonstration, you're going to learn a lot. You know, book smarts are one thing, design is one thing, but when you go to use something, you learn the real stuff, right? So uh, this demo coming up, uh, the Real Martian Challenge 1801, I am really excited about it. Uh, we have lots of planning to do that I'm going to be sharing with all of you. I invite you to take part in this uh, in however you, way, shape, or form you see fit. Um, if you have ideas of things that you'd like me to do during the challenge, uh, rules, uh, we've got to set some rules, right? Uh, what do I mean by rules? I mean, there's got to be things I'm allowed to do and things I'm not allowed to do, right? This has got to simulate me kind of being on Mars, uh, living just off of this system, right? Uh, three days sh shouldn't be too hard to live off of this, but maybe in uh, 2019, you know, we amp it up to a few weeks, you know, or, or at least a week. And then by the end of the year, you know, maybe a majority of all the food and energy that we have here at the ranch uh, is all coming right from this building. And maybe in 2020, it's 100 percent, you know, so uh, an, an escalated response into what we can do. But anyway, the rules uh, right now we need to come up with. So one rule, for example, is. Uh, I can't go to the bathroom out here. Um, food safety, not gonna happen, not gonna do it, not gonna do a composting toilet, nothing. I'll be allowed to go up the house and use the facilities up there. That's not a part of what we're trying to, to simulate uh, as part of this. It's not a dependency I have. Uh, we cannot use the digester. We cannot put human waste into that at all. Uh, so we're just not gonna do that. That's, that's gonna be one of the rules is that I'm allowed to go use the normal restroom. But we gotta come up with the things I'm not allowed to do. So, um, you know, I got to sleep out here as a rule. Um, I can go back and forth to the house, but I need to be spending pretty much my entire day out here. I can't just go up to the house, sit down and relax. I need to be out here and be doing some projects. So what are those projects going to be? We got to plan those out. Um, I need to get physically ready for it. You know, this is probably more personal than it is uh, like doing it for any reason. It's just, you know, I've been working really hard for the last two years and I haven't actually uh, worked out at all. Um, I even went to the doctor and I'm like, hey doc, you know, I'm working really hard. Uh, he goes, yeah, that's nice. Uh, that's not the same as running or walking uh, aerobic exercise. So um, I, my body's gotten out of shape and that's not good. I don't want to do that. So I kind of want to tie in um, a, a physical uh, regime of workout into it, workout regime, and to also get um, you know, a good diet going. I, I need to cut 20 pounds. Uh, that would be really nice. I'd like to do that as part of all this. You know, this year kind of really focused on the Martian Challenge, getting this thing going, the whole building going, and then just being in shape physically, mentally, spiritually. So getting, getting physically ready for it. We've got to do a lot of meal planning. Sorry, I'm reading my notes here, but there's a lot to get over. Uh, meal planning, you know, Monday, Wednesday, or I'm sorry, breakfast, lunch, dinner, but breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and some snacks. You know, what am I gonna do um, for those things? What veggies am I gonna have available? Am I just gonna be eating rainbow trout three times a day? Uh, I'm gonna get tired of trout really fast if that's the case. So we need to come up with what are the meals gonna be, and then we need to figure out what plants we need to buy, get them here. Um, I've kind of already started this, but I'd be curious what everyone's thoughts are on it. Um, and by the way, if anybody wants to help be like truly mission control and help with these planning of these things, uh, send me an email at trm at Um because I've got a lot of work to do and planning all this is pretty hard, but if, if someone really wanted to take on the real role of mission control and actually plan the Real Martian Challenge, um, please send me an email. Let's see here. We got to, so we finalized the crops, so we got to figure where all the crops are going to go in the building. We actually got to plan out where we're going to plant everything based on light and and all that that's gonna be in here. So that's gonna be something we gotta get done. Ordering the seed. Um, we are gonna put trees in here. So I already know a few of them. We're gonna put an almond tree in. These are all, these trees, by the way, are all dwarfs. 
uh, meaning that they've been hybridized to where they're, they're going to be small trees. I'm five foot eight. These trees will be five to six foot. So they'll be basically my height. Um, and we're going to bring in an almond tree. That's protein. All uh, right. Uh, you can make flour out of it, turn it into bread if you wanted to. Uh, we've got to uh, a three in one citrus tree. That's a lemon, lime, and tangerine. That's going to be good for uh, sweetening things, preserving things, uh, making drinks. And uh, tangerines, just good to eat. Uh, nice little snack, sweet snack. I have a sweet tooth, so that'll be nice. Also going to do, I think it's a four-in-one or a five-in-one apple tree. See how that does. Uh, even, and then uh, like a peach tree and a cherry tree. See how those go. But that's going to go in those area where we cleared out uh, the microgreen processing and uh, get those in there. And that's going to be a split aquaponic system, meaning we're going to take aquaponic water from the system and put it over there, but there won't be the full recirculation. Uh, so it'd be cool getting that in. Uh, tools. Uh, I think one rule is I can only use the tools that are out here. So, and I think there should be a limit on how many tools I could have, like maybe the top 50 tools or 25, whatever it is. Uh, ladder has to be considered part of that. My climbing gear, uh, should that be part of it? Uh, you know, those, those are all things we need to figure out. Um, cooking utensils, uh, cooking equipment like a cooktop. Uh, I think the rule should be I have to use either uh, battery-backed electricity uh, or battery-powered electricity. I'm thinking battery backup, and I said battery. That makes no sense. Anyway, uh, battery-provided electricity during the night because uh, the system will be offline because no solar power, or digester power, which is the one I really want to get going. I just don't know if I can get the digester going between now and May, but uh, I could cook a lot easier if I had methane and I could power the generator uh, at night uh, so I can charge things. Or maybe I'll just build my own Tesla Powerwall, which is also something that we can consider as part of this. Um, let's see here, utensils, okay. Yeah, the digester, I'd love to get it up and running. The battery, I think, I, I really like the idea of building your own power, Tesla Powerwall. Uh, it, kind of, a lot of you subscribers have sent me that idea and then I looked it up in quite a few different places and I think for less than $500, you can get like four kilowatt hours of power uh, on a lithium ion Tesla Powerwall uh, equivalent. Uh, you just got to you know, do your battery design, put it all together and uh, build the circuits and get the, the batteries. It's a tedious work, but not hard. I mean, less difficult than what I've done on this project to date. So that's, that's a really legitimate um, project that might be considered this year, uh, maybe a good volunteer project, or if one of you wanted to take it on and build one and send it to me, as long as you promise it won't blow me up, that'd be nice, that'd be cool, but um, anyway, and then uh, we also need to plan the projects that we're going to do during the three days, you know, what, it, I'm not just going to sit here in my lazy chair uh, or my stool all day long, pun, pun during life, uh, we need to actually, like, do something while we're out here kind of stress the body, you know, uh, and hopefully there's plenty of food <laughs> uh, to go with it. So the Real Martian Challenge is going to be pretty cool. I, I think it's really going to push us to see what the system can and cannot do. It's, it's going to move us right past all the cool ideas and wouldn't be neat if type of statements and right to that you need to get this done because you depend on this, right? You, you move out of the the cool zone and you move into the you need, you need to have it and you need to get this done zone so i'm excited to get there because as an engineer i can make things more complicated than they need to be just because it's cool and i want to take on that challenge right so uh there you have it that's the real martian challenge uh i want to give you a few days after we put this video up please put your comments in with your suggested rules and challenges uh ideas how you guys could participate um how we can make it make it fun for everybody uh again it'll be in may and in august i think it's may 24th is what we're aiming for so uh it's coming up real fast i know that so hope you enjoyed this video about the real martian challenge pretty simple sorry no fancy editing just wanted to get this all out to you guys and uh hear what your feedback is so i hope you enjoyed this video about the real martian challenge if you did be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe don't forget you can also follow us on facebook twitter and on patreon in the meantime, this is The Real Martian, out.